Up now, Brad Loomis. 292 pounds on the bar for him. He is a master one lifter. Yes. That was a good lift. Way to fight through. <laughs> Next strategy for gaining strength while cutting, diet or nutrition periodization. So we all know how important nutrition is and, and setting up proper diet programming. And you know, long gone are the days uh, of you know just basically diet programming that just stays you know endlessly in you know the caloric deficit. Okay, um, so we all know there's a lot smarter way to do that. And so what I'm going to outline here is kind of our traditional ways of diet periodization and then also how I program my diet periodization as I've been cutting uh, and still gaining strength, okay? So I guess first let's go over that. Let's go over traditional diet periodization. Um, if we've got, you know, this line here is maintenance, uh, the way we traditionally do diet periodization is we travel along in the week at a caloric deficit, and then once a week we get a high day. And then we come back down into our caloric deficit, and then once that once a week we do, we get that next high day. Kind of like so, okay? Um, call that carb cycling. Um, these are sometimes referred to as refeeds. Um, that's traditionally, you know, how we've done diet periodization. Now, that being said, um, it works very well. We've done this with tons of bodybuilders um, and physique athletes, um, men, women, young, old. Um, you know, this type of periodization is, is very effective. We've got tons of, of, you know, anecdotal research in all of these athletes that this works. However, even though we've got this anecdotal research, we don't have really any studies that actually show this works. And so what I did with my diet periodization is I actually used some of the documentation, uh, some of the research that's out there um, that you know, has actually been proven. And what I'll do is I will make sure and, and basically cite two studies um, that were actually done using the periodization that I'm going to cover now. So first of all, um, for, for proper diet programming, you really have to know maintenance. And it's not, near, in my opinion, it's not enough to just take a guess at it. It's not enough to just say, okay, let's take 10 times my body weight and that's my calories daily, or 12 times, or 14 times, or whatever. That's a start, and that gets you close, but that's not a way to program a diet. Me, I'm kind of a little bit more of a numbers geek, and I like to crunch the numbers, and this is kind of how I like to do it and how I recommend clients find their maintenance. First of all, it's not rocket science, but it does take time. It is tedious to do if you want to do it right. So here we've got maintenance, 17,500 calories per week, roughly 2,250 a day if you wanted to follow you know, a daily format as opposed to a, a weekly format. Now this just happens to be Brad's maintenance. Okay, at 169 to 171 pounds. So again, how do I know that? Well, basically because I followed that. I did just that, taking in 17,500 calories a week for like six months, okay? 24 weeks straight, I followed that. And I wasn't perfect, obviously, but I had macros, and I came within like five or 10 grams of my fat and about you know 20 or 40 grams of my carbs and my protein. And this whole time I did this, I logged my macros on spreadsheets, logged my weight, comparing the two. And after six months of you know some pretty consistent execution of my macros, I stayed 
right between 169 and 171 pounds. Now weight varies on the day to day. We don't pay attention to that. We need the day to day data in order to feed the weekly averages, but this is going by week to week to week averages, taking seven days and averaging it out. And when you looked at 24 weeks of averages, it was anywhere between 169 and 171 pounds, okay? And a lot of times, what I found out as I was doing this, guess what, in the winter time, I'm not sweating as much as night, okay? Wake up in the morning, I'm a little bit heavier. You know, I'm like 169.8, 170.5. Sometimes I'm going up to 170.8, okay? Then summertime rolls around, I'm getting warmer, I'm sweating more at night, no change to the diet. Pretty soon, weights, weigh-ins are a little bit lower. They're 169.5, 170, 169.2. But nonetheless, you average them all out, and it's right in between 169 and 171 pounds. Now, that's irrefutable. I followed these calories during that whole time, never really gained or lost a pound. So how did I kind of figure out my weekly calories? I just averaged them all out punched in an Excel formula, and I averaged the whole six months worth, okay? And basically what I got was a macronutrient breakdown of roughly 62 grams of fat, 258 grams of carbs, and about 240 grams of protein. 2,250 a day, 17,500 calories a week. Pretty hard to argue with that. Stayed the same weight the whole time. So knowing that, here's how I set up my diet periodization and, and my programming, okay? I really didn't want to lose very fast. I wanted to lose very, very slow. Like maybe at the most, half a pound to a pound a month, okay? So what I did in my diet periodization is I went ahead and just basically stayed at maintenance for about five days, okay? And then for two days, I'd cut down really low. And then I'd come back up again. And then I'd stay at maintenance. And then cut down really low again and then come back up, okay? So that if my average was 17,500 calories a week, doing something like this brings that average down to about 16,500 a week or so. And periodized it weekly like that. Now again, this is the format that I follow because this is what the research shows works better. And the way that it works better is that the folks that followed a periodization like this, as opposed to just basically staying in a caloric deficit the whole time, they lost the same amount of weight. But the folks that use the periodization maintain their muscle. Very, very important, obviously, for us in strength sports, okay? So not only did I periodize weekly, but I also periodized monthly. How would I do that, okay? Here's maintenance, as you can see. Travel along at maintenance two low days, right? Come back up, travel along at maintenance, two low days, okay? Travel along at maintenance, two low days, you get the idea, okay? Might come along here, travel along at maintenance, say I wanna dig a little harder, okay? I might go ahead and get a few more low days in, maybe three or four low days, okay? But just keep repeating the cycle, and then maybe for like a month or so, I won't have any low days. I'll just maintain a constant maintenance, okay? Maybe even have a little blip where I go over maintenance just a little bit. And then, maybe toward the fourth month, start again with my two low days, okay? So this, just like we periodize our training to where we might do heavy loads at the beginning of the week, low volume, and then switch it and go higher volume, lower loads, it's kind of the same thing. We're getting higher macros and lower macros. And then just like we run blocks of training in our you know, mesocycles where we do high and low and high and low weekly, we might just stay up high and low for an entire month, okay? Monthly periodization. This is the periodization of, of my programming that I use. Basically, coming to an average where I average out all these macros, where I'm staying, you know, roughly 16,200 a week, okay? And then if I wanted to dig harder, I could start this whole process again based on 16,200 a week. 
that's it. It's not anything fancy, but it does take time to set up because you need to know maintenance for you unequivocally. And in this particular format, I didn't want to lay out any numbers, okay? Because all of our numbers vary, but I wanted to show the basic highs and lows as I went through the diet periodization. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this allows you to set up your own diet program, okay? Shows you how to find your maintenance and then how to use current technology or I should say current techniques as far as periodization goes. It could be a little bit more effective for us as strength athletes in gaining strength while cutting.